What's happening? And welcome back today on the podcast. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, resistance. Uh, what does resistance actually produce? Um, this is episode 972 of 1000 coming soon. I uh, want you to be here for our thousand week coming up April the 20th, the week of April the 27th, 2024. So let's jump right into this. I was reading the book, The War of Art. I believe that's the name of the book. It's written by the, the gentleman who who wrote the book and was, I guess, his book was the reason why the the, um, the movie The Legend of Back Events came out. And so I'm reading the book. I finished the book this week. And um, I, w- I was thinking about this resistance and what what is resistance and why do we need resistance? It's kind of like, you know, when we think about, you know, bread, you know, there's always two sides of bread. There's always two sides of everything. There's always two, um, two. I, it's usually going to be, you know, if I have an idea, then there's something that's going to counter the idea. There's always two sides. And so resistance is one of these things that if there was no resistance, then what, what's going to really get created? What's going to get produced? What's going to get done? And I would have to, and I would have to argue this point that nothing would get done because if, if, if nobody had resistance, then then it wouldn't even mean anything. Think about it. You know, if you've completed, if you've um, become successful at something, if you started something and finished it, there was resistance from the time you decided to do it. So if we don't have any resistance, then then we as humans, like, it, nothing would be happening. So I thought about the resistance. And I even thought about the resistance, like the, I had resistance all morning trying to get myself to, to actually do a podcast, re, do a podcast recording. And so here it is. The resistance shows up and at the front end of, of the resistance, here's what we have. We have the desire. There's a desire for something. Come on, think about it. We have a desire for something that hasn't yet been done. That hasn't yet been completed. We can kind of see a little bit. Oh, I kind of see kind of where I want to go. Like today, I'm kind of seeing. I know where I want to go because I want to complete a, another episode of the Account Feel Life podcast. I want to do it. It's like, well, what am I going to talk about today? And then it's like, okay, well, but I know that I want to get to the thousandth episode. And that thousandth episode, I can't miss any days. I got to always have something to talk about. So, so what I seen in the past week or two as i've been looking at a thousand episodes resistance has showed up like no other no other time in my life well like no no other time as i've been doing the podcast especially like every day so it's just like what why does it seem like it's getting harder it's getting harder to produce something huh because the more meaningful something becomes to you the more resistance so you have a desire to do something. You see that you want to actually have an outcome. I want to have the fact that I did the podcast. But you know what? Then what do I get? What do I get? Technically, I don't get anything for getting there. You don't get anything because you technically you're just watching and you're maybe you're learning something. Then it's like, well, you know, what is what's the point of all this? Right, here's the point. I think the point of all of it is that the more resistance we can pass through, the more resistance we can kind of like, you know, realize that, hey, that's that's a force that that really doesn't want me to be successful. The more we can understand what that is and how we can get around it and go through it, I, I think the better people we are. You know, if... If you were to, you know, actually take the desire that you have about something, you you probably got some desire. You take the desire that you have about something and you literally you know, say, you know what? I'm going to go for it, even though even though it's going to hurt. Even though it's going to hurt. I know some people say, man, you know what? I really want to start this business, man. You know, I really want to go forward. Uh, that don't seem to have any time, you know, or the time that I do have is time that I'm relaxing. I'm, I'm, I'm watching. I'm catching up on my shows. I've already worked 10 hours a day. I've already worked eight hours a day. I've already d- to have to then come from work 
you know, feed the kids and, and do all the stuff and didn't have to spend more time trying to work. That's resistance. Resistance like, ah, you don't have to do it today. Ah, you don't have to do it this week. Ah, you don't have to do it. Stephen Pressfield is who wrote the book, The War of Art. So I was reading the book and there's like three sections. And in, in the third section is like the section where it's like, beyond resistance and I perked up I was like beyond resistance that's my language see because at some point you get to a point where you just know yeah there's resistance huh it's coming I know that I have to produce like I'm in the midst of I'm in the midst of a couple of a few projects and I know that they're going to finish it's just that there's there's there are there are there are resistances that that will come up, you know. There are things that will show up. There are problems that will that will potentially be things that we have to overcome. So when we go beyond the resistance, it's kind. It's not that it's it's not that we don't deal with the resistance. It's not that we don't see the resistance. It's not that there's no resistance at all. It's it's the fact that you've made a decision that it doesn't matter what's happening. I'm going through. Like there's no there's there's I mean there's no world when I'm not going to accomplish this thing. And 50 Cent said it, I'm gonna die trying. I'm gonna die try, I'm gonna die trying. And so, so it's it, it's gonna happen, you know. I was thinking about my life, and I was thinking about my life last night before before I went to bed, and and something, you know, it's one of these things where you know you realize you got things to do, you realize that you realize that no one's gonna do your work, <laughs> no one's. So, and, and what I mean by that, when you know you have work to do. And this is just me kind of talking, so don't 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 try and put anything don't try and put anything together on this. Um, well, you know you got some work to do. Imagine you go to you you go to someone else saying, "Look, I've got this thing that I got to do, man. You want to do it for me?" Most people are not going to do your work. It's it's like if I'm in school and everybody's got their own work, and then I say, "Hey, can you do mine too?" Most of the time, I'm gonna say, "No, I don't want to do mine." So if I don't really want to do mine, why am I going to do yours? <laughs> so, so I was thinking about the work, and it was just like, well, no one's going to do your work for you. So you know, you don't you don't ever have to be upset because uh, no one's helping. Who cares? No one, no, no one has to help me with my work. And I was just, I wasn't thinking about the resistance last night. I woke up. I woke up. The resistance showed up. <laughs> and as I'm thinking about this resistance, it's like, okay. Think about it like this. If you knew, if you knew you could accomplish whatever you put your mind to, actually knew it, in, in say, for instance, the time that you set. Because think about it. Like, there's there are things that we know that know how long it's going to take to produce it. Typically, if you go to high school, it's usually going to take, at least, take about four years. Every now and then, you just people do it in three, but it's usually going to take about four years. What about college? College, usually going to take about four years. You get some people, do it in three. You know, you know, you want to have a baby, you get pregnant. Typically going to take about nine months for that baby to develop. And then you have the baby. You know, so there are there are time periods that are set. It's just that when we make a decision, I make a decision, I want to write a book. Now, here's the thing. I make a decision to write a book. Is it possible to write a book in seven days? Absolutely. I've heard I've heard people write books in seven days. Is it possible to write a book in a year? Yeah, it just depends. So here's, here's, here's what we all can take away today from the resistance is we know we're going to have it So because we're going beyond the resistance. So if we're going to go beyond the resistance... Then we just accept it. Oh, there's going to be resistance as soon as I make a decision, as soon as I say I got a desire, I'm going to go somewhere. Then the resistance says, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here, Brother Jay. I'm like, okay, you're here. All right, cool. 
I'm like, you're here. Cool. Then all I got to do is set the time. Remember college, they set the time. Set the time. Create the plan. And go. Does it mean I'm going to get there in the time I set? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it means you will get there in the time you set. Because remember, it's just resistance at this time. I said just. It's just resistance. Because we're going beyond it. And if we go beyond the resistance, then that means the resistance has no chance. So what does resistance produce? It produces a person who can go beyond the resistance. And if you go beyond the resistance, there won't be anything that you can't do. Won't be anything you can't do. Now, here's here's what's interesting, interesting about that statement, and then I'm going to let you go. In Genesis, um, the story of the, tab, the Tower of Babel, the, the people, th this was after the flood, the people had decided that, you know what? That thing, that flood thing, that ain't happening again. We ain't having it. We're going to make sure that we got somewhere to go that if the waters come, the waters won't go as high as our tower. And God comes down. And God said, what are they doing down here? What's going on? He looks around. And he says, whoa. These people are of one language. These people have one speech. These people are working together. There's nothing that they can't do. He said, God said, there's nothing that they can't do. So I will confound their speech. I will, I will, I will change the languages. Paraphrased. <clears throat> and then God created resistance the resistance of language, the resistance of communication. Because he knows. God knows who he created. He says they will do, if they come together, they will do anything. But if you come together, if you come together with yourself, if I come together with myself, there's nothing that I can't do. What does resistance produce? It produces a person who goes beyond. Guys, I thank you for joining me for this episode of the Account for Your Life podcast. This was episode 972, 29 days until 1,000. Be with us the week of April the 27th as we celebrate 1,000 episodes of Account for Your Life. God bless. I'll see you on the next episode. Peace. This has been the Account for Your Life podcast with your host, the healthy accountant himself, Jay Moore. Until next time, make it a great day.